Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. This is a continuation of a previous vlog that I posted where I was getting started with my Christmas decorations. So if you have not seen that vlog, go and watch that vlog to get caught up. Just jumping right into this vlog though, I have already gotten started on a couple of extra Christmas decoration DIYs. And I just wanna show you guys what I'm making. Just as a little refresher, here's what we've got going on in my kitchen right now. I'm making giant candies and giant pieces of a gingerbread house. And I made these gumballs and we've just got a lot going on. Right now I am working on my lollipops. So my initial thing that I tried in the last video turned out like this and I just felt like it didn't really look like a lollipop necessarily. So I ended up taking some of this um, extra caulk that I had, which I used for some of my other projects. And I just spread it on top of these styrofoam discs. And then I used a spoon to swirl it around. Ah, I just touched it. I used the spoon to swirl it around and I plan on painting them and putting glitter on them to make them look like these lollipops over here to kind of coordinate with that. And then also speaking of lollipops, while I'm letting this caulk dry so I can paint them and put the sticks in them, I am coming back to my giant lollipops that I started on in the last video. Basically I've got a hula hoop and some poster board glued together and I'm about to paint the swirly design in the middle of it. I've got all my little acrylic paints here. If I wanna make it match the theme, it's supposed to be pink, red, and white to match those over there. They don't have to be though. I have pink paint. I don't really have red paint. I have red glitter. This is probably not enough glitter to really do anything though. Maybe I'll just start with the pink portion and I might have to go buy some red paint to fill in the rest. But yeah, and then I have my, my lollipop sticks, giant lollipop sticks from the last video, which are just broom sticks or technically mop sticks that I painted white. And now these are dry and ready to go. Something else that I have not started that I want to do is take this brown polymer clay and cut out gingerbread shapes, cookie shapes. I have all these different cookie cutters, gingerbread man, Christmas tree. I think I have like a snowflake and stuff. And I wanna cut them out of clay, but still make them look like real cookies by decorating them. And then I will use those as Christmas tree ornaments. I need to put up my trees, decorate the trees with all this stuff, figure out what I'm gonna do with this stuff. There's just a lot going on. When I'm in DIY mode, I'd be looking crazy, so excuse my appearance. I have been working on these DIYs for several days now, and I kind of feel like I've barely gotten anything done. I have so many ideas, but I'm just one person working on it. The space is still looking very non-Christmas. I basically don't have anything up. I mean, it's actually not even Thanksgiving. The day that I'm recording this right now is the day before Thanksgiving. So I kind of wanted to wait because I am hosting Thanksgiving over here. I kind of purposefully wanted to wait, like have Thanksgiving first and then actually start putting stuff up. So I actually have to clean all of this up by tomorrow, which is gonna be interesting because I'm just in the middle of so many projects. I'm gonna have to just like gather everything up and put it in the garage or something because I'm hosting Thanksgiving on this table tomorrow. So. Wish me luck with that. Tonight, however, I just wanna get some stuff done before I have to like move everything into the garage. Okay, so painting the giant lollipop. This is my inspo. I wanna do the swirly design. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna like, I guess start in the middle and pencil out a basic swirl. This is definitely not gonna be perfect, but it doesn't have to be, right? I guess I'll start with this pink paint. Ooh, that looks cool. Y'all can't even see it because the lighting's bad, but there we go. Hello. Just a little better once I get the other colors on there. <laughs> So far it's looking like some sort of weird hypnotizing thing, but 
Use your imagination, okay? Trust the process. Now to get started with these clay cookie ornaments. Um, I feel like this little chunk of clay is not gonna even make like three ornaments, but I'm gonna see how much I can get out of it. This is also a pretty dark brown and gingerbread cookies are a bit lighter, so I might have to like add some light brown paint afterwards or something, but Ugh, polymer clay is so, you have to really like warm it up. And I wanna roll this out. Yeah, this is gonna make like two ornaments. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some more clay or some different kind of clay. I don't know how much this one chunk even costs. I'm not trying to spend a ridiculous amount of money on this, but I wanna make a lot of ornaments. So it might be better to like make my own little DIY Play-Doh and then just paint it. Who knows? What the heck? This is literally gonna make two ornaments. Okay, boom. Maybe I can do the house after I piece together the scraps. I'm literally gonna be able to make three ornaments. So let's just cut these. I'm gonna have to re-roll this piece. Okay, okay. We got a little man, gingerbread man. Let's see if I can like make the house. Period. Now we have enough to make the house. And a little candy cane maybe. Okay, so I have some left. What can I make? What are my other cookie cutters? I essentially wanted to make like pretty much one of each of these shapes, if not like two of each, to really help fill up my tree because I bought a bunch of store-bought ornaments, but it's not really gonna be enough to fill up my 12-foot tree, so that's why I was making some, but I don't know. I only have this much clay left as of right now. I can do a snowflake. I could do the stocking, I could do a smaller Christmas tree. Let's do the stocking since we already have a Christmas tree. Cool, those are kind of thin, but hopefully it's okay. We still have more, okay, okay. I would love to make the cat. Yay, okay. These definitely look like chocolate cookies right now, not really gingerbread, so I'm probably gonna, like I said, Paint them to look more gingery. Cool, I actually have a little bit more left. Candy cane. Cool. I don't like the candy canes. They, I have enough candy cane. I'm, I'm sacrificing the candy canes on second thought. So let me do like the angel or the smaller man would be a better use of the clay, I think. There. Now I have to bake them. Wow, looking like cookies, right? That did not work at all. What was I thinking?
All right, so it is Thanksgiving day. I'm hosting Thanksgiving over here. Like I said, last night um, we did put away some of the stuff, the Christmas stuff, but now I need to put away all the rest of the stuff. This stuff is still wet and drying. So I need to be careful with that. And I need to clear off all this stuff and just put it in the garage. So let's do a transition from Christmas DIY disaster to Dear Lord, thank you again for allowing us to come together on this Thanksgiving day. Bless all of this delicious food that we're about to eat for the nourishment of our bodies. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Okay, fast forward, it's a new day. Thanksgiving is over. These pumpkins gotta go because we are about to go into full Christmas mode. The house is relatively cleaned and cleared out ever since Thanksgiving. I have a few things that are still just kind of sitting around. Um, I'm starting to bring back in all of the Christmas stuff that I need to use. And I'm planning on today being the day that I actually set up my trees i do need help doing it especially the big tree that goes here i also have another smaller tree that i normally put on this table and i want to get the trees up because i want to start putting stuff on the trees so this is what i have going over here as far as ornaments and other miscellaneous tree decorations my big bowl of store-bought gingerbreads i have different kinds of candy canes these things that i keep <laughs> referring back to even the little mini sets which i think these little mini ones would be cute for the mini trees that i have over here because it's more to scale with these trees so i might save those for that but i also have my finished diy ornaments these literally look like zaya made them <laughs> i'm kind of disappointed in myself <laughs> because i'm like these don't look very professional but this was only my first round first try i do want to do a second round um but yeah i used some real this is real candy this is fake candy glitter you know you know they're okay i'm gonna um i tried punching a hole through some of them like this one has a hole that i can put a string or something through to hang it this one also has a hole but the rest of them i didn't want to like punch a hole directly through the cat's head or the man's head so i'm just gonna like glue a ribbon loop to the back so i can have something to hang it with but yeah that's how those turned out i also made these little candies with icing around it kind of going with the gumball thing that i did where it looks like you know you stuck the candy on something with icing these are the backs of easter eggs so these actually turned out i need to like peel the rest of them off of the foil these are dry now my lollipop so this is my first attempt at the lollipop styrofoam lollipop i need to stick the stick in and i need to finish the rest of them i actually have four more that i haven't even started on this one i don't i really don't like this one i probably won't use this one but i have four more of these that i need to paint and glitterize then i have my giant lollipops that i still need to finish things are starting you know my first few little experiments are starting to yield their results but i still have a lot to do
Okay, finally got the tree up and then it took a long time to like spread out and straighten out all the branches. I really didn't even do a very thorough job. I just tried to do most of it on the main part that you can see. I really didn't even do the back of the tree. The top of the tree, I can't even really even reach it on the tallest step of our tallest ladder. So it's a little messed up at the top, but it's up and it's able to hold ornaments now. So Zaya has been asking and asking to decorate the tree. She's been waiting to get started. So I'm letting her get started. These are her ornaments that she has done every year at school. First one was 2018 when she first started going to her school. And then we have 2019 right here, 2018, 2019, 2020. And then this year pretty soon, you'll probably make another one. And then I glued little clear fishing line string as like the hooks on these. I don't know if y'all can even see that. So, ah! They're not breakable. They're actually pretty like plasticky feeling, which is good because I was worried about them being fragile, but they're not fragile at all. We want to spread them out as far as you can away from each other because we don't want to just clump them all up in one spot. We have to fill up the whole tree. I need to shove them in a little bit more. Okay, next up, we're gonna be adding some of the peppermint themed ornaments that I had from last year. And I'm gonna see how that tree skirt might work. Um, we added all the gingerbread ones already, the store-bought ones and the homemade ones. I put these things in there. This is what it's looking like so far. Okay, it's the next day. Last night we made some progress decorating the tree. Definitely not done. Um, I wanna add more stuff to make it more full and just more gingerbready. Right now we have a lot of peppermint, but I wanna add more different kinds of candy and gingerbread stuff. I am experimenting with what I wanna do with these things that I made, and I still need to make more of them. These are just the ones that I made so far. Um, I used double-sided, like, command strip Velcro, these little things, and they are falling off. One just fell off, but I'm kind of thinking of doing this all around the whole um, archway. It looks kind of candy-licious, right? I don't know, can't decide if I hate it or like it. I also started playing around with how I could like decorate this table. I switched out my normal greenery that I normally have in this vase for these candy canes, which I think is cute. I have these little store-bought trees here, pink tree, my giant candy. Um, with these lollipops that I'm making, I think they would be cute to arrange kind of like this in this little random vase that I had. I need to get like a piece of styrofoam to really stick it in there properly and I need to finish painting these. I also have these trees which Zaya already put the little mini ornaments on these. Maybe I should take the lamp off and put one of these here, that would be cute. And then for the other one, I can put it somewhere else. But yeah, for now I also just have these just sitting here. I don't know. That's gonna be the final location, but these turned out cute. I can also still decorate these more by adding like little candies to them. But yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. It's, it's a mess in here. Oh yeah, I was gonna see about the tree skirt. This is a 48 inch diameter, which is really not that big for this size tree. Like actually it's pretty small, so I might just end up using it for this tree because it's more of the appropriate size. And then for that tree, I've seen where a lot of people will just get like a blanket or something and wrap it around, because they don't really make a lot of tree skirts that are big enough for this size tree. So I might have to like use a blanket. What do you know, another shopping haul, Target, Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, just Target and Dollar Tree. I found these little trees at Target. They're like a pink to red ombre and I thought they would pair nicely with my collection. Adding in more color 
to go with this year's theme and the theme that I'm already planning on doing next year. And then I just got some scotch tape because I'm gonna need that to wrap gifts and stuff. And then from Dollar Tree, they had some new different stuff out at this little gingerbread canister. What am I gonna use this for? I don't know, but it has gingerbreads on it. So I had to get it for a dollar. I got some foam or styrofoam, whatever you call this, to use for this idea over here. I think this will be the perfect thing to stick down in there so I can arrange these properly. Also for the lollipops, this was some new different stuff that they had, which I think I can use this to make some lollipops, like swirl it around itself. We're gonna see. Also from Target, I got this pillow. It says, oh, what fun on the front side and on the back side, it has green, red, pink, and blue Christmas trees, which I think just kind of like helps tie in like some of the red stuff that I already had, but we're adding in the pink and the blue, which, you know, goes nicely with, you know, everything that I got going on. Cause we've got those colors with the tree and everything. And then Target also had this, which I didn't see before, which is like gingerbread cookie cupcake themed wrapping paper. I definitely need to figure out a better way to attach this stuff to the wall because I left, went to the store, came back and it was all on the ground. So my little sticky tabs definitely did not work. So I just took it all off and I need to just rethink that or find something else to use to attach it to the wall. Flowers. If it's perfect, cool. Something like that. Okay, I have these little buckets. I actually have them in yellow and blue too, but I have two pink ones. Why are the two pink ones two different colors? Anyways, uh, these are left over from either Easter a couple years back or one of Zaya's birthday parties or something. But I think they could make good gumdrops. Giant gumdrops. So I'm thinking if I peel this hair off, give it some texture and some sparkle by adding this glitter to it, I think. First things first, take the handle off. These handles just slide off and on, so that's cool. And then I actually have some leftover buffalo snowflakes from last year. They're like iridescent little flakes, which I think would be pretty. And then I have this same glitter that I've been using for everything. So I'm just gonna... It's kind of giving gumdrop or something candylicious. That's the vibe. It just needs to be candylicious in some kind of way. This is the perfect exact size for this table. New day, new haul, because the shopping never ends. If y'all remember previous years, it was just so much shopping, 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 and more shopping. Um, so today, I did even more shopping. Exciting finds at Marshalls. Look at this mini skirt. <laughs> it is a Mrs. Gingerbread mini skirt, and I plan on wearing this to my Christmas party that I'm hosting. Um, I already bought a ugly sweater that had a gingerbread man on it from Target. Let me go get it. So this is what I already got from Target the other day. Oh, I forgot this is a sweater dress. Okay, we might have to rethink this, but I got this sweater dress, which has this funky gingerbread man on it. And it's definitely, you know, ugly sweater vibes. I thought it was perfect because it's got the peppermint vibes and the gingerbread candy baked goods vibes, which just really goes with my theme. But yeah, it's this oversized sweater dress, which unfortunately I'm realizing now is not really gonna work well with the mini skirt. Cause it's just too long and bulky, I think, to pair together. But I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to maybe do an outfit change or make a choice which one I'm gonna wear to the party. Also because I did also get another outfit for Marshalls. It's a set joggers with gingerbread men on it and a matching cropped crew neck. More like pajamas than an outfit, but for a Christmas party where the dress code is just wear anything Christmassy, I can wear whatever I want, especially as the host. So I was thinking even like, like this skirt with this crew neck 
or like, I don't know. But I have a lot of gingerbread clothes. On to the decor items that I bought. I went to Michael's. They had one lone gingerbread man on a stick. Just one in the clearance section. They're already putting all their Christmas stuff on sale even though it's not even December yet. It's literally November 29th. But he was on sale, so I got him. I don't know what I could do with him, but I had to have him. Oh, I forgot to also say from Target, rewinding. I got earrings. It's gingerbread woman and gingerbread man earrings. Ah! Also at Michael's, they so conveniently had these pre-cut felt gingerbread men, which are gonna be perfect because then I can just use puff paint and stuff to decorate them because I still wanna put a lot more gingerbread men on everything and there are 15 of these. So whether I use them on the tree or like, I kinda wanna also make a wreath. So that'll be nice to not have to cut them myself because I was gonna just like cut out some. Of course, more gingerbread, these gingerbread, themed cupcake liners with the little gingerbread cookies on it. I got these because I want to do some DIY ornaments that I saw. I got this idea off of Pinterest, I didn't make this up. But you basically glue a cupcake liner to the bottom of an ornament and then make the top of the ornament look like a cupcake. And I think that's gonna be really cute. So I got this for that. And then I also got two boxes of these larger clear ornaments, also from Michaels. Two sets of four, so eight total. For these bigger ones, I want to do a DIY where I cover the outside in sprinkles. So they just look like candy-licious, sprinkle-licious ornaments to add some color to the tree and add just more of that like candy vibe to the tree. So I just plan on like coating it in glue, coating it in like sprinkles or something that looks like sprinkles, and then like maybe spraying it with something to kind of seal it. And I think that'll be cute. So I got eight of these bigger ones to do something like that. And then I saw this, which I thought was so cute. They're little jars that already have the string on top so you can use it as an ornament. And it just made me think of like baking. Just fill each jar with something that looks like an ingredient or candy and that would be really cute with like the gingerbread cookie baking theme because it's like your ingredients, you know? And it's an ornament and what's cool about it is that, you know, next year if I do a different theme, I could probably dump it out and fill it with something else and like reuse it. So I just thought that was cute. Everything was like 40% off. These were originally $20, so 40% off of 20 is I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a cute idea. And then I just had to get some paint and some paint brushes that I was missing for some of my DIY projects. Also, rewinding back to Marshall's where I got all the gingerbread outfits from, they also had this gingerbread two-piece baking set. It's just like one little snowflake cookie cutter and a spatula, but I had to get the spatula because it has a gingerbread man on it. I just wanna put it in my little, I have my jar of like spatulas out on the counter. It's like Easter eggs, like everywhere you look, there's a hidden gingerbread man. Like, bet you didn't think I was gonna have a gingerbread man in my spatula jar, but I do. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I really don't need this cookie cutter because I already have almost the same exact cookie cutter. But this was $3. So, you know, it goes with the theme. Also from Target from the like dollar spot, they had these little nutcrackers, colorful nutcrackers that are kind of like candy colors that are kind of going with the theme that I got going. And then also they had these little mini candy colored bottle brush trees. I thought these would be cute to add into the tablescape that I'm planning on doing. I wanna do like a gingerbread house village tablescape where it's like multiple gingerbread houses that are all decorated with the candy and stuff. And then you have like these trees mixed in as like the landscaping and these little mini trees mixed in. And then like these little guys mixed in, even though I don't know, that doesn't really make much sense. Like why would there be a giant nutcracker in your neighborhood. I don't know, it's a statue, okay? It's a, it's a landmark, it's a monument at their local park. I feel like I've been doing a lot of talking and ideating, you know, thinking about what I might do, what I wanna do, what I think might be cute, and then obviously a lot of shopping for supplies and stuff. But now it's like, it's really time to get down to business and actually do the DIYs and finish all these like DIYs that I've kind of like halfway started. I have like my giant lollipop. I have these ornaments I wanna make. I have the gingerbread cutouts I wanna make. There's just multiple things that I still wanna make and set up and do. So it's go time. I really need to get to work. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so the insulating foam cupcakes kind of worked, but they expanded and lost their shape more than what I expected. <laughs> Some look better than others. Like this shape is pretty good. I think it still gets the point across. These are the ones that I tried to make with the other spackle, mixing in some paint, but the sprinkles are like bleeding and it looks kind of gross. So might have to scrape that off and try something different. This definitely worked better, just the first one that I did. Then I did sprinkles on these, which is cute, I guess. All right, I need to finish painting the swirl on this lollipop. I'm doing red and pink swirls on everything pretty much, just to kind of stick to the theme. Update, like an hour later, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gingerbreads that are all kind of slightly different. This one's even frowning. I finished these lollipops, got to this point on both of the jumbo, jumbo lollipops. I'm waiting for the paint to dry so I can like move on to the next steps on that. And yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I still have a bunch more of these, but I think I'm gonna have my sister help me um, since that's kind of, I can just show her the ones I made and she can easily duplicate it when she comes to do her assistant work tomorrow. So I'll probably just leave that for her. Um, trying to decide what I wanna work on next. There's just so much to choose from. Got yourself a cupcake ornament. Oh, that's actually pretty cute. Also wanted to show y'all this ornament that I made by just getting the bigger clear ornaments and painting the outside of it with just some Elmer's glue and then putting it in this bowl and rolling it around. So literally just took the bigger ornaments, put some glue on it, use a paintbrush to spread it out thinly. And I literally went like this in the bowl. And voila, then I'm just gonna let it dry. My little drying station over here, starting to look candy-licious. But of course, I need more supplies. Mm. These are like dry now. So I can add the sticks, the painted mop. I'm thinking packing tape, because hot glue probably wouldn't be enough to hold it. Okay, so hot glue to reinforce it. Okay, so then I got more of this clear cellophane from the Dollar Tree, and I want to put the wrapper around it. I'm gonna tape these two pieces together down the middle, even though I can't even see because it's so clear. This is so hard to see. Okay, I think I've got it taped together. And I like you on the back, but wow, I just made this up off the top of my head, pretty much. Is that cool, Taya? Yes. So I've been using these ball pit balls um, for this DIY, which I still need to figure out what exactly I'm gonna do with all these little chunks that I've made, but I wanna incorporate them elsewhere in my decor. I started hanging up some of the chunks right here, but then they fell down. So still trying to figure that out. I want to incorporate those little balls like on the Christmas tree and like just sprinkle it throughout so that it kind of all matches. This tree still doesn't have anything on it either. So I had an idea. I took one of the balls and I got this um, like iridescent cellophane. The regular clear cellophane, I just got it for a dollar from Dollar Tree. 
but this nicer one I got from Michaels, it was more like $6, but they give you a lot more on the roll too. But I just thought this one was a little bit cuter and I just cut out a square of it, wrapped it around, used a little piece of scotch tape to secure it and then twisted the sides to make it look like a little candy. And now for the most dreaded part of the Christmas decor, putting the garland on the stairs. It's just a really tedious, dusty, messy process. I use this green floral wire to attach it to the stairs. And then I have these lights that we then wrap around it so it lights up. So let's do it. Okay, first two pieces on. While Maya is working on that, I am moving on to this smaller tree that I have on this table. I got this kind of like giant ribbon mesh stuff from Michaels, which kind of has the candy colors on it that like matches with the gumballs and stuff. So I think I'm gonna just like wrap this tree with this. Let me just see how it looks. <laughs> I need to look up some tutorials on how to properly add ribbon to trees because just wrapping it around like that I don't think is how you do it. And I ran out. Let me try something else. Okay, so nixing that ribbon idea for now, I think I might make bows out of it to just like put a few bows on the tree instead. But I have these, the rest of these gingerbread, the felt gingerbread men, and then I have all the little candy balls that Maya just made. I put half of these on the big tree already. So I'm gonna put this stuff on this tree. And I think for the most part, I could kind of just place them like that. Like I don't really need to add any hanging attachment cause it kind of just sticks. Okay, so here's what this tree is looking like now. So far, so good. I think it's cute. Like I said, I think I might use that jumbo ribbon to make some bows or something to add onto it or just make some more of these little things to fill it up more because I still have a lot more of these little balls. I'm still figuring out what to do with like some of this other stuff. In the meantime, I think I am actually going to put these around this archway. I keep going back and forth and trying to figure out what I want to do with these things, but also how to make it work in the first place because every method that I've tried to attach them to the wall has not worked. It keeps falling down, but I think I've finally found a method that works. I am using these command hooks and they have the little tabs that are actually pretty strong to stick to the wall. And then I'm basically just puncturing a hole through the back of the foam to hook it on. So that's working so far. I've got two pieces on and I think I am going to just do that, going around the whole thing. Okay, for these ones to kind of save on supplies to kind of make it look like it's more full than it really is, I just sprayed some spray adhesive on the inside of the jar so that it would stick to the edges and make it look more full than what it is. And you kind of just roll it around so you don't have to use as much to actually fill up the jar because that would take a lot of packs of this to fill up these jars. Jars of sprinkles. Now these ones will not necessarily be reusable. Well, I might be able to go back and like scrub the inside to get this out if I wanna use it for something else later and put something else in it, like for next year, but maybe, maybe, ah! maybe, maybe not. The other ones, I just poured the stuff in there. So the other ones that I made will be reusable, but just something to be aware of. Okay, so I added my little jars of candy to this tree and I also added some of these real candy canes that I had from last year. These are not to be eaten, they are very old. They're just for decor, they're individually wrapped, so it works. So I added that all throughout the tree. It's looking really cute. This, 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 these. So now we have like the candy canes on the tree to coordinate with the tree skirt, 
we have the bubblegum jars to coordinate with these which i might just leave here like that or like maybe add something with it to kind of make it make more sense i don't know and then i don't know if i'm gonna do any type of tree topper on this tree i don't even have a tree topper on the big tree yet i still have a bunch more of these candy canes and i have jumbo ones too i might actually yeah i'm probably gonna go ahead and just use this same tree topper that i made last year for the big tree if i don't find anything better i kind of wanted something more gingerbready like a big gingerbread man and i can maybe make one so i don't know maybe i'll put this one on this tree if not probably i'm gonna use this some type of way though because it does match then i also still have these lights multicolored, like larger bulb lights from target i have two of these they're 15 feet long since i ended up taking the little candy strips off of the windows and putting them here instead i was thinking maybe i could like put lights going around the border of this thing because it could plug in here and then i could just like use command hooks to put it along this whole thing and that might be cute and then i want to like incorporate candy into the garland so i might do like more of these and put them in there like that like i think that would be cute maybe with some candy canes mixed in probably too but the garland is on the lights are wrapped around so now it's just decorating so i had maya help with making these lollipops and then i ended up gluing the three of them together and i think this might actually make a cute tree topper this tree A bow or something like right at the base of it would be nice just to kind of like fill in that little chunk right there or maybe like a gingerbread man or something the little opening that I made for this is too small for the big floofy top of the tree Womp. Okay, I added the little gingerbread man and a bow and I think it looks a lot more finished now. Cool. Okay, I made another one of those big bows and I'm gonna put it on top of this tree since my candy cane thing didn't fit. And just like with everything else, these flocked trees act like Velcro so you can really just stick stuff to it and you don't really need to fully attach it. Cute. Okay, I had Maya make more of these little wrapped candies and I added them to the big tree and I think it really just added the pop of color that this tree needed and helped fill it in more. And it matches with the bow on top and now this tree coordinates with the other tree over there that has them on there too. And I think that's super cute. I think I'm kinda done. I'm gonna be real with y'all, I only decorated the front of the trees, okay? So if you look around the side and the back, it's empty, <laughs> okay? And I know that technically if you're standing, the, you know, here, you could clearly see that the back is not decorated, but I just don't care because this tree is so big, it would take so many freaking ornaments to do the whole entire thing. So I just decided to only do the front. And if anybody got something to say, too bad. <laughs> Okay, I took another piece of this foam board, like poster board from the Dollar Tree. I used this guy as a reference and I used a paper plate to help me draw a good circle for the head. And then I just kind of freehanded the body to make a giant gingerbread man. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this guy, but I'm gonna put him somewhere. And I'm probably gonna make at least two of them, maybe a guy and a girl. Okay, that was extremely hard to cut out for some reason, but I finally got it with the exacto knife. Now I'm going to paint it a nice gingerbread toasty brown color and then, you know, decorate it, put the face and stuff. Oh, 
okay? She's brown. Yes, I got paint all over my countertop, but it wipes off, so it'll be fine. Just hot gluing these on. Got another thing of caulk. And I was missing a button for this one, so I'm gonna first do this. Oh, that was a lot. Good enough, right? So while I'm working on my giant fake gingerbread men, Zaya is working on the real gingerbread houses, which are gonna be for the tablescape. I bought one big one, which I had Maya do the assembly for me, cause that's the not fun part. So Maya did a good job building the houses. Um, they do make pre-built ones, but I didn't see any. So I got the one big one and then I got the village. These are both from Walmart. So the village comes with like five little houses. And like I said, Maya assembled them and Zaya is decorating them. So they came with candy, both kits came with candy. So I just put them in little cupcake holders for her for easy access. And I helped her with the icing cause that part can be kind of hard, but now she's just sticking the candy on. And I wanna make a bunch of houses so that I can make a little like neighborhood for the centerpiece for the table. Okay, this second guy's outline turned out a little bit smoother. Practice makes perfect. I added some little sugar sprinkles to him as well. Looking good. While those gingerbread men are drying, I wanna move on to hopefully finishing this. I need to make more of these little strips of icing. And for these ones, I used a trash bag as like the surface so I could peel it off. But the trash bags are only so big, so it only gave me a certain amount of surface to work with. I saw on somebody else's video that they used parchment paper, which is a much smarter idea, because you can roll this out as long as you want, um, and it's nonstick. So I got some parchment paper. I'm going to take this. I also ordered three more cans of the Loctite foam. I ordered it off of Amazon this time. If you're gonna do this, you're gonna need like 12 cans and you might as well just get off of Amazon. Pro tip. This thing is broken. Okay, moving on to another idea. This is take two of the giant cupcake idea. In part one, I epically failed at this, but I found these bowls at Walmart, which I think are better because they're the right shape. It looks like a cupcake base, has cute little snowflakes on it. It's red, it matches the decor. They're a little bit like sturdier and they're a little bit smaller. So they'll still be giant cupcakes, but not like overly giant to where I have to use like so much spray foam. And I think I'm going to utilize this orange bouncy ball that I got um, with all those bouncy balls that I got to be the gumballs. The orange color just doesn't really fully match. Like I'm not really using too much orange in the overall decor, so I don't think I'm gonna end up using these with the rest of the gumballs. I'm just gonna use the other colors. So to make use of this, I'm gonna use this as like the base of the top of the cupcake. And then the idea is to do the spray foam all the way around it so that, you know, I don't have to use that so much foam on the inside, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm just gonna try it. Let's see. Tiny dollop of foam at the bottom to kind of, cause this stuff is really sticky. I kind of glue this down with it. And it's gonna expand, so honestly, I probably even put a little too much because once it expands, it's gonna like kind of overflow. But that worked a lot better than the first time. I think this is gonna actually turn out. Also, these things, I keep forgetting how much this brand of spray foam expands. So like every time I make a new piece, it's getting bigger and bigger. Like I did not want 
these things to be so wide like that. They just needed to be little strips, like big enough for these things to fit on, but they're like double wide and I keep accidentally making them bigger and bigger. So I don't know. I mean, I guess it still looks like what it's supposed to look like, but I really could have did like longer, skinnier strips and been more efficient with the amount of spray foam that I'm using. So just keep that in mind. It's always gonna expand, so you don't need to make things like as big. It's gonna get bigger. It's actually already starting to expand and get a little bit droopy, but again, hopefully it doesn't get too messed up. For my second one, learn my lesson. I used less. I let there be cracks in between because Hypothetically, when it expands, it should fill up the cracks. So this one will probably turn out a little bit better. And if there are any cracks showing by the end of it, I can always like just take some white paint and just like fill it in with paint so at least you don't see the orange and I think it'll still look fine. But yeah, these are my two cupcakes. I just made these for like tabletop decor basically, like just to sit them around my house like on my console table or something. Okay, yeah, you guys, definitely parchment paper for the win with this type of DIY. It literally comes straight off and it's nice and smooth and flat and perfect on the back. With the trash bags, it was like peeling off all nasty, so I got all bumpy on the back. Like these are the ones that I did, like this one. I did it on a trash bag and when I peeled it off, it was like, it just didn't peel off nicely. And so it's all bumpy, which makes it extra hard to attach it to anything or stick it to anything because nothing wants to stick to this bumpy texture. My cupcakes are also dry. This is the first one. I think it turned out cute. I think I'm gonna use some spray adhesive and put something on it for sprinkles. This is this other one. And of course, there's still a little bit of a crack showing right here, but for the most part, this is the front of it because this is the part that has the design on the bowl. So the front, I mean, looks pretty good. Honestly, you're probably not gonna see the back, so. I could probably just leave it. Okay, so fun fact, I ran out of spray foam, of course. <laughs> um, but I'm done with the sides, at least. I just have to do the curved part. I'm going to have to buy more spray foam. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to figure out how to like make some sort of template so that I know exactly how to make the shape of the curved part, you know what I mean? Because if I just do straight pieces, it's not really gonna look very good. I think I need like three more pieces, like a curved piece to here, curved piece for the top, curved piece for the other side, and I just need to figure out how to like measure it so I can make it right, and then we will be done. We are coming to the home stretch. I just went and bought <laughs> five more cans of insulating foam. I was tempted to just buy like 20 cans, but I was like, you know what? Five should probably suffice. This better be enough to finish what I'm trying to do. And if it's not, that's too bad. But little random side note, look how creative Zaya is. She took the little scraps from the spray foam and she was like, can I have those? And I was like, sure. And she was like, can I have some orange paint? And I was like, okay. And she made Cheetos. She said, I'm making fake Cheetos for my baby dolls. Look, it really looks like Cheetos. And she was like, can you help me make like a little Cheeto bag to put them in? Wow. Like mother, like daughter, if I do say so myself. I was actually going to use these giant decorations as like outdoor decorations to decorate outside my house. But then I decided, you know what? I wanna see my hard work. I wanna have my decorations on the inside where I'm gonna see it all the time. This is not this is not for the neighbors to enjoy. This is for me and Zaya to enjoy. Also, clever, right? Real candy canes in the, ca like candy cane candles, get it? I was like, it just needs something to make it candy-licious. Like we have the garland, we have the lights, cute, but that's basic. It's not, it's not gingerbread, it's not candy. So I took some of these, balls that I was using for the other thing and just did like a little dollop of spray foam around it to make like little individual candy moments. And I think that's gonna be the vibe. So I need to make a bunch more of them to go all the way around. And then I've also added in candy canes mixed in. I'm trying to decide like how I wanna put the candy canes if I just wanna put them like that or in some kind of way where it can be like more on the top like this. 
that might be better. I also have these other candy canes. These ones light up. And again, these were supposed to like go outside, but I'm kind of thinking I might just use them inside. And then I have these. And then also one of the last major DIYs that I do also still need to do is take this brown fabric and make stockings because I want the stockings to look like they are gingerbread cookies. So I was going to sew them myself and decorate them and hang them along the fireplace. So I'm gonna make three, two regular ones for me and Zaya and then a little mini one for Bougie. Finish the archway, finish the candies for the stairs make the stockings, finish my tablescape. I think that's it. And then clean up. We're almost there, y'all. I'm gonna try to use this roll of paper and a Sharpie to kind of like map out the curve of the archway so that I know how to make the rest of the pieces, like what shape to make them. Okay, so here's the plan. I traced out the shape with Sharpie onto this paper. This is like half, like a half circle, half of the top of the arch. And then put the parchment over it. I can still see the line through it. So I should be able to spray the foam into the right, like exact curve that it needs to be. And that'll be one half. And then I just need to like flip it and do the other half. And that should be the two final pieces for the archway. shape that off when I literally trace it. Okay, so actually part of my Christmas decor is the gift wrap because it's part of the theme, it's part of the vibe. So I actually did get a head start on some of my Christmas shopping. These are some gifts for some children in my life. And so I'm gonna actually go ahead and wrap these using a couple different wrapping papers that I got and put them under the tree so that we can kind of just start getting that vibe under the tree so the tree is not looking so empty. Almost forgot that I had these red bowls from the Dollar Tree that I was going to use for these more like Dum Dum style lollipops. I already made like the giant hula hoop lollipops, but I also wanted to make these types of lollipops. So I went ahead and hot glued the two bowls together. And then for the sticks, I didn't have any more broomsticks and instead of running back out to the store, I got resourceful and I kept all of the little rolls from all of the paper and cellophane wrap and stuff that I've been using. I've kept it, I always keep stuff like this because it always comes in handy for DIYs. So I took two of these and took them outside and spray painted them white. I actually think that that's gonna work perfectly for the sticks for the lollipops. Lollipops are drying, the hot glue is drying. Hopefully this holds. They're not gonna be as sturdy as the other ones that I made with the broomsticks, I don't think, but I think it should still be good enough. Zaya is back at it again with the gingerbread village, working on the big house. Good job. Dum-dums are done done. And they are relatively sturdy. Huh? Uh, I don't have any more cellophane to do like the wrapper on the outside, which I've seen. I didn't make this up by the way. This is definitely something that I've seen like on TikTok and stuff. The two bowls technique for a lollipop and normally they wrap it in the clear wrap like I did the other ones, make it look cute. I don't have any more clear wrap. Six o'clock at night right now, I refuse to go back out to the store for anything else. Everything that I'm finishing right now must be finished using what is in the house. I'm not buying anything else. So these are just gonna have to be unwrapped. Um, and just be kind of how they are. I could like glitterize them to add a little bit of razzle dazzle, so I might do that. And just have to figure out where I wanna put them around the house. I have maybe two more little projects to do before I'm done. 
I've been doing this all day at 6 p.m. Not to mention the other 12 days I've been working on it. So starting to lose my mind a little bit, not gonna lie. So I ended up actually trimming off these things. It was four candies, but I just used an X-Acto knife to cut it to make it smaller so it would actually fit the size of the stocking a little bit better. And now I'm just hot gluing it to the stocking. Now that I've sewn the stocking together, hopefully the hot glue sticks. And then I already decorated Bougie's stocking. I did a B with the white puff paint and then I just did little dots around. I used pom-poms for his candy cause that was more of the right size. And then I put um, glitter on it. So I'm just waiting for this to dry so I can dust off the excess glitter. So the glitter will only stick to the white paint. And then I think I'm gonna do a kind of similar thing for me and Zaya's stocking. I'm trying to decide if I wanna like try to write our whole name, but then I feel like it needs to be something like just boom in the middle. So I think I'm just gonna do like a Z, a big Z, a big R, and then decorate around it. I don't know. Like I said, we're freestyling. Freestyling everything. I hate the way I did this lettering. I'm gonna have to go back and <laughs> cover it up. It's so ugly, but I'm using the caulk now to do little dollops. Come on. Come on, these are probably gonna fall off and I'm probably gonna have to go back and glue them on, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, I literally zoned out and uh, was like decorating these stockings. I ended up making this very creepy gingerbread man, <laughs> the little stuffed animal thing. I made some other little details. I ended up setting up this tablescape. So now everything that I just painted onto these stockings and stuff has to dry overnight. I still have a huge mess to clean up with all this like DIY stuff that's just everywhere, all in the kitchen and in the living room and there's stuff all over the floor. It's just, it's a mess in here. I have to call it a night for tonight though. It's already like 11 o'clock at night. I've literally been doing this all day since I woke up, like I'm in my, pajamas basically just been doing this all day not to mention like i said before i've been doing this for the past two weeks making all this stuff i'm 95 percent done but there's still stuff that is gonna take like another day and i want to go ahead and get this vlog up for you guys as soon as possible ever since i posted part one you've really been asking to see kind of how all the diys turned out so i feel like in this video this pretty much shows all the DIYs that I'm gonna do. Now I just kinda need to like zhuzh everything up, clean everything up, put everything into its place, and get the final product ready to kind of give you guys a tour and show you guys. So that will be in my next vlog. So sorry to disappoint if you're expecting to see that in this vlog, but it's a process. But that is it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this little behind the scenes look at Raven's workshop. Um, I had fun, this is fun for me. You know what I mean? It's stressful in a way and it's, it's tiring, but it's really fun. I like to you know, be creative in this type of way and like do these DIYs. So, you know, I kind of end up going overboard and I start thinking of more and more things to do. I'm still like thinking of more things to do. I know I said that I wasn't gonna go back to the store and I wasn't gonna like buy anything else or do anything else, but I just keep thinking of more things that I can add and then it's just like, yeah, so. I will update you guys. Stay tuned for my next vlog to see the final, you know, result of everything. And also I will be having my Christmas party. So that's gonna be kind of a whole nother layer to it when I do the party and have all that stuff set up. So you guys will see that in my next vlog. So definitely stay tuned. But yeah, in the meantime, comment down below and let me know if you guys have any ideas of like little last minute stuff that I can add. And yeah, that's it. See you guys in my next vlog. Bye.